candlestick point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight we polish off week 10 with a good Monday night matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will be a Let's touchback go, as that sails over the end line. The Seahawks offense led out by number three, Russell Wilson, the franchise's all-time leader in touchdown passes. And the Seahawks, they finished above 500 in all seven of Wilson's seasons. But this year, a little different. They'll work with a very young receiving core, no Doug Baldwin anymore, in what promises to be a tough NFC West. This is Chris Carson, 1,000-yard rusher a year ago. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Wilson, after the play fake to Carson, he's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions and, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into the half sometimes it's 15 to 30 plays that had to be one in there where they call a shot play go for the big one and they got it done Myers connects on the PAT and it's now a 7-0 game this is taken at his four bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line so here are the Niners now to get their first drive and they'll be let out by the man running the show Charles their quarterback and what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff but with him as well and I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork. Sweet Love God, his footwork. So this guy is never hey, satisfied. Cut. Cut. On first and 10, Young. Man open, it's Goodwin. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Young to throw it. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. In last week's game for Kittle, there are the numbers. Eight catches, 136 yards. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. That throw by Young incomplete. The Seahawks, here's their defensive lineup. Michael Kendricks is an inside linebacker who can roam sideline to sideline and make plays. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. To throw again, Young. That's complete to his speedy wideout, Goodwin. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A gain there of 21 yards. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, stepping back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Now a man who really stepped up last year. This is Matt Breda. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Mike 54. Here we go, 
On second down, a run with Breida. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Watch twist. Watch twist. Third and short yardage, Young. Man up and race. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 14. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. If you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. He's got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. What's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. Meanwhile, the throw by Young was not knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker Bobby Wagner able to get back in coverage and knock it free. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They run with Ezekiel Elliott, last year's NFL rushing leader. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Three, two, eighteen, chop it, chop it. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Ezekiel Elliott, his 11th touchdown of the year, as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the... ...back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's coming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. The numbers on the ground for Carson last week. 13 carries, 54 yards. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. 30, 10, 5, and he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 67 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. On second down. It's Carson, and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. 
That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but... I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Throwing is Wilson. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. And back at the eight now. Third and goal. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Torrey Smith scoring a touchdown against his former mates. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Precision, precision, precision. That's the definition of it right there. Great pass, great catch for the score. Yeah, people talk about arm strength all the time. Well, if you're not precise and you're not accurate, the arm strength really doesn't matter. We saw a little bit of everything with that throw. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division. Looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can drive as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for every win possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Come on, set. 70, Indy. They'll try to run for it with Elliott. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Just a yard, but that's all they needed. And by the slimmest of margins, it'll be first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. His second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Week 10 in the NFL coming to a close tonight. Not too early to look ahead to week 11. We've got Thursday night football to get us started. The dog pound going to be alive and bark in the first meeting of the year between the Steelers and the Browns. And since the Browns came back to Cleveland, the Steelers are 34-6-1 against their rivals. Browns trying to stem that tie. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. Now this will go for five up to the 33. 
One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. Well, he made that catch knowing full well that at the end of it, he's going to catch a pretty good lick. I guess if there's anyone on this team that can absorb a pop, it's him. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. They give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. On second down now, it's Carson, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. On third down, Wilson. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Ready, ready. Stick the oar. Hey, echo. Man up, D. Man up, D. Check 52. Cut. Snap. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. On second and 15 now. Young over the middle, and he's got good one complete. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave him with a third and five. Third down, Young from the gun. And that is incomplete. But partner, anytime someone tells me that fundamentals are leaving the game, I'm going to show them this play because they couldn't get to the passer. So what do you have to do? Get your hands up in the passing lane and they batted it away on a third down attempt. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Yeah, yeah. Here's Young. They'll indeed go for it. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late game situation, maybe even fourth and inches. But boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the other way. On second down, it's Carson. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. That's oh, a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stop that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field goal, please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And on that last drive, Whitford on fourth turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here. 
Because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Young on third down. Able to haul it in as Kittle. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 45-yard line. Young on first down. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Throwing again on second down. Young. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. This is Breda. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Once again, they run with Breda on first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. From the red zone now, Young. And that is incomplete. He was looking that time for Dante Pettis, but it'll be second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. 10th carry now for Elliott. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Ezekiel Elliott on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown. Now you're looking forward. Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. To throw again on second down. Wilson, it's caught. Lock it. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Wilson. This complete to lock it. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 37. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This from 54 yards away. 
And that will wind up just short. He had it online. It ran out of gas at the end. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Let's go, baby! So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. Elliott on first down, going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. On second and 11 now, Young. That would complete Elliott. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Throwing, Young. This went into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Elliott. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. From the 38, Young got his man complete over the middle. It's good one. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Whatever the discussions were at halftime and trying to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breida. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. A second down throw for Young, and that's Elliott, complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Here's Young from the shotgun. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. George Kittle, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. This will be taken in at the one. And it'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. 
There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And all the way down inside the 25 before he gets out of bounds. It's a big play there for Seattle. 42 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. He's got the first down inside the 10. A good pick up there, a 22. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up the block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. They'll try to run with Carson, and it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play, and it'll be second and goal. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now it's Wilson, and Dixon has it. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Ed Dixon, his fourth touchdown on the year, as his guys are back within a single score. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. They'll try and run it here. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Well, partner, since this new two-point rule came into play, offenses spend a lot more time working on it. That means the defenses are doing the exact same thing. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll run with Elliott, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Again, it's Elliott. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. exit. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Young now. That'll be caught by Rice. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time. Really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Look at me. Zipper. Also, get it. Running out of the gun here, Brita. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Touchdown, 49ers! Matt Brita, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Matt Breida who had the touchdown run to put an end to it. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here's Russell Wilson and the Seahawk offense now getting set to go again. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps is consistency. Taking care of the ball, 
making sure it gets to the right people. No errors, right? Not turning it over and just doing all the right things. That's leaders. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys are back within a single score. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. This will be taken in at the one. A beautiful fake. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. He would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 18 yards. First down, Niners. A first down throw for Young. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. That's going to set him back five yards. A false start hurts him there a bit, backs him up to second and nine. Yo, 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 go, go! Now! Out of the shotgun, Breida. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Now it's Breda. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And now they're in the hurry up. They run with Breda. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven, reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Ready, ready. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage, back at the 17. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run with Breida. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Matt Breida. His second touchdown of the night. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. 
And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Matt Breida who had the touchdown run to put an end to it. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established his run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Wilson to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. They'll give him a yard on the play, and they're going to face a third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Completes it to Dixon. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. But correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson, and this one complete to Smith. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Wilson going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Now it's Wilson, able to find his target here, Largent. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards. between those last two plays. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First down, Wilson. He's got the tight end, Vanan. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To throw again is Wilson. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. 
Second down and goal. Wilson. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No call. And it's third down. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. This one fielded at the five. Yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. And yeah, they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's Breda. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On the handoff, this is Breda. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Check, check, check. Check out. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Go. Go. Fourth down, Young. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Wilson to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make this a second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. That catch good for five. It's third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. That's complete to Lurgeon. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. This one into the hands of Largent. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And he did exactly what they needed him to do, Charles. Got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen where you know it, yet a guy's still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds? He got it done. He's back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll look to throw. Completes it to Dixon. 
And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. Well, Charles, an absolutely thrilling finish there at the end, down to the final play. Got it close to the goal line, but couldn't punch it in. How much fun was that ending, though, for us? We were right? standing up. I had to. You had to get out of your seat for that one. That close to the goal line? Oh, that was fun. So for the 49ers, they're setting themselves up as a...